be the world's leading sports and fitness apparel company. This is Nike's goal and mission statement. Founded as a Japanese shoe importer, they've now grown to be one of the largest shoe companies in the world. Their popularity didn't take off until 1976 at the Olympics when rising athletes started wearing their shoes and gave them great brand recognition. Today, we're going to talk about how Nike got started and where they are in the market today. I'm currently studying business administration in hopes that one day I will be hired on to Nike. First, let's dive in on how they got started. Starting as a Japanese shoe importer, they've now grown to be one of the largest sports apparel companies in the world. Co-founder Philip Knight was traveling Japan after completing business school at Stanford. He got in touch with a Japanese shoe company, Onasuka, and uh, hoped that he could import shoes to America. The problem was, America's market for shoes was being dominated by German. So, he had the hopes to bring Japanese there, just to throw a little swing in the market. He created Blue Ribbon Sports in hopes of adding a little integrity to himself so that his partner, Ansuka, would give him credibility. His plan came to fruition when he got 200 shoes just to sell to see what he could do. His former track coach, William, William Bowerman, added $500 to his company, matching what Philip put in at start. In the 1970s, they grew to over 20 full-time employees. In 71, they started creating their own shoes. In 72, they split from Onisuka. Their quote from the time was, Nike shoes are geared towards serious athletes. High performance comes at a high price. Their first year of selling just their own shoes, they grossed $1.93 million. In the 1980s and 90s, they became a world power, selling to over 11 countries and having over 200 types of shoes. The first Nike town started in New York. In the 2000s, Nike is starting to dominate the world. They buy out competitor Converse for $305 million in 2003, and then in 2009, the Air Jordan shoe brand comes out. By the way, Michael Jordan's birthday, February 17th, 50th, no big deal. Now, we have history up to the present. Let's see where Nike is in the market today. In the competitive world today, athletes are always looking for the best way to get an advantage. Nike's always been there with an answer. They have great brand recognition in basketball, football, soccer, and running. Their legacy includes Converse, Colhan, Hurley International, and Umbro, a European soccer company. Starting as a Japanese shoe importer to Olympic athletes, and now everywhere, Nike has grown astronomically. I hope that one day I will have the privilege to say I am part of the world's leading sports and fitness company. Thank you.